How's it going everyone? Okay, I just released a video about side loading the Go version of real VR fishing onto the Quest and it's amazing. It's amazing and some people are like, hey, I'd love to do this. I don't have a Go, how do I do this? So I just came up with a way to do this. You're not gonna, as of right now, you're not gonna find this information anywhere else. Um, I'm gonna show you how you can, even if you don't have an Oculus Go, you can buy and download the APKs for the Go and you can sideload them onto the Quest. It'll also work for the Gear VR. Check this out. Here, I'm just gonna tell you first off the top how we do it, and then I'll show you. We're gonna install Nox, and then uh, we're gonna go into the Nox Manager after we install Nox, and we are going to uh, install uh, Android 7 version of it. It's like a separate instance, and then we're going to install these Oculus Store APK files, and um, we're gonna enable root on it from the system settings and then we are going to just sign into the app to the store and download it you in you enable root I'm, I'm stuttering because I'm super excited about this you enable root so that you can use 3c toolbox to disable the download complete receiver on the store so that the downloaded file is still in the folder in downloads and then there's like oculus downloads from there and you can rename it just take off the underscore downloading or something like that I'll show you and then, boom, there's your APK. Amazing. All right, let's get into it. Okay, guys, uh, go here, go to bignox.com and click on download and download the Nox player and then install it. Okay, now once you've installed Nox, open up uh, the folder program files, Nox, and then bin, and then scroll down to right here, multiplayer manager. Open that up, and you can see I've already done it, but down here you'll click Add Emulator, and you say Android 7.1.2. All right, and it will download that, and then you can click on Play, and it will launch. All right, now once you're in Knox, you're gonna see I've already done this, but I'll show you what I did. Just go up here to App Center, and this is the Google Play Store, and it's going to ask you to sign in. Of course, I already signed in. And then look for 3C Toolbox. So download that from the Play Store and install that. And also what you need to do is put enable root. So go up here to this little icon up here, system settings, click on that. And put the check mark in root. And then click on save settings and it will ask you to restart. And go ahead and do that. Now I'm going to leave a link in the video description to these files that you need. And I'm gonna tell you where to extract the files. If you go right up here where it says My Computer, click on My Computer. Right here where it says APK, click on Open PC Folder. And then just extract the APKs into this folder. Okay, here I'm about to show you that you have to install these files from within Knox, but actually what you could do is just drag and drop these onto the Knox window and Knox will automatically install them for you and then go back to Knox, and then click on Open Knox Player Folder. All right, click on Oculus. And now each of these you're gonna have to install. Just I click on it, actually, you know, and install. So just go ahead and install all of these one at a time. And after you do that, restart Knox. And then when Knox comes back up, click on three in one, or 3C all-in-one toolbox. And what I did is I enabled advanced. It gives you a warning like, oh, this is crazy. Are you sure you want to enable advanced? But advanced always seems easier to me. The layout seems to make more sense. So um, then click on app manager. And then at startup, scroll down to just Oculus, just the one that says Oculus. And then we're going to take the check mark out of download complete. Because what happens is when you try to download the app through the Oculus Store, it downloads it, then it tries to install it. It like deletes it and tries to install it. But this way, it won't know that it's done downloading and then you can harvest the APK file. So once that happens, and you've installed all that, fire up Oculus.
Okay, for some reason it kept crashing on me. So I cleared the data. You saw what I just did. So let's see if it works now. I'm going to sign in. I'm going to say sign in. All right, check it out. I'm going to go down to my library. Thankfully that worked. Go to not installed. And look, real VR phishing. Now, here's something else that I forgot to mention that you have to do. Go up into this cogwheel system settings and on property settings. Uh, the default model I had it set to was Samsung SM-N950N. Now, what this does is it makes it think it's like a Gear VR device. So it'll show like the Gear VR APKs. But if you want it to show the Oculus Go ones, click on custom key and in this first box put Oculus, the second box put Oculus, and this bottom one here put Oculus Go and then save settings and then reboot and then your Oculus Go library will show up and you can buy them here and watch this uh, click on real phishing install this app requires a Gear VR controller there is no Gear VR controller currently paired with this device would you still like to continue yes I would so now this is gonna download it sometimes it seems to hang but then it eventually picks up again okay now right here it, it looks like it's almost done downloading but not quite it says it has 184.15 megabytes out of 196.09 but chances are it's actually done so check this out go to home go to amaze I guess file browser go to storage go to download go to oculus downloaded apks click on this go to properties there we go, 196 megabytes. So it really is done downloading. Even though the app doesn't seem to think it is. Which means it's safe to do this. Click on these dots, go to rename. Take downloading out. And the underscore. Boom. Click on it. Cut. And then... Here, and then just go this is paste right here and there we go I had already done it before as a test so there you see it again uh, and that's how you can get any of these APKs for the oculus go alright guys and here is how to harvest the APKs out of Knox once you've got them downloaded just go ahead and open a maze right here it's normally it's in this folder but I moved it down here and you can click up on those th three lines and then click on downloads and then select the APK you want so that there's a check mark by it click on the scissors for cut and click on the my computer icon up here and click on open Knox player folder and click on paste it may take a few seconds alright done now click on my computer and then click on open PC folder and there is your APK it's that simple. All right, guys, there you have it. If you don't own an Oculus Go, but you wanna buy some Oculus Go apps or games to sideload onto your Quest, now you can. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Like, share, and subscribe. And I wish I knew why the store was crashing. I wish it, we didn't have to do that workaround thing. If anybody has any ideas, let me know. I've tried a bunch of stuff. Anyhow, all right, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have fun. Talk to you later.